Hi, I'm Colleen McNamara here with head coach Jennifer Stone after a great win. Lafayette Leopards beat the Fairfield Stags 2-1 to one, and I'm reporting for Lafayette Sports Network. Um, so first off, congratulations, another win to boost your record to 8-2. and two. How did you prepare for this game having such a dominant match yesterday? Well, I think the the biggest thing with the difference in the preparation is just to uh, physically make sure they're prepared. It, it's definitely a toll on a body um, to be able to play back to back Saturday, Sunday, um, and with our conference games on Saturday, it's definitely a, it's a different task for the players. So, absolute credit. There's a there's a lot of a lot of miles out there um, on back to back days. Uh, so the the players did a great job in terms of managing that. You you look at the game and potentially play the game a little bit different just. Um, because of that Saturday Sunday but with that said I I, um, I think a lot of credit goes to the team and their preparations physically to put themselves in a position that they were able to get a win today definitely and how was it different today given the back and forth the midfield tired legs yeah I think um, de defensively we um, we played a little bit of a different shape uh, today um, just to try and win the ball in different areas and counterattack in different areas. Um, but again, with that said, you know, the, the game the game doesn't change all too much, still trying to defend together, and then when you win the ball, attack together. Um, and with that said, Fairfield is a great team. Um, you know, that's an NCAA tournament-bound team probably, um, and there there's a lot of takeaways that we can, we can bring to our group and good preparation for next week. Yeah, great. And I know you have a long time to go. You have another half of the season, but how happy are you with the team's performance so far? This group's doing great. Um, they are such a fun group um, to coach. Uh, I feel very fortunate to to be able to work with them each day. Um, there's a lot of talent out there, but most importantly, they're really eager. They're really coachable, um, and they're sort of excited for every task that's next. So our next challenge is tomorrow um, and what that looks like from recovery and preparation. Um, but, no, it's, it's a great group um, filled with a lot of personality and some great leaders in there. Great, love it. And finally, you do have six days before another game. What's this week going to look like um, in terms of implementing what you learned today? Yeah, so um, coming up next is another back-to-back. -back, so we have a week to prepare um, to head up to Boston to play Boston and then Brown um, on a Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so first and foremost, to recover after back-to-back. -back, um, and then, you know, we'll look at film and head up to Boston to face a strong BU team. Great. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you. We have Audrey and Simone, top players for today's match. Audrey had the game winner off a corner shot. Both of today's goals were off corners. How important is it for your team to execute when you have those corner opportunities? Yeah, absolutely. Also, huge shout to Simone for the assist on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we um, were both on the towers of the corners, and they're super important for us. Um, we like to generate a lot of attack, and to get those opportunities is huge. And it's kind of an advantage anytime you can get a corner. Um, and so we really practice them, and it's just huge, a momentum shift for sure. Yeah, great. And kind of on the D, the back end of it, was a lot of back and forth today, a lot of tired midfielders. Did you have to adjust mid-game for that? Well, yeah, we kind of adjusted to like a back four, so an extra player in the back. Uh, we didn't always do it and execute it in the right way, but I think that gives definitely more rest and uh, allowed us to play around more and slowed down the game a little bit. Great, yes, you looked very composed in the second half especially. And now that your record is eight and two, you do have a little ways to go, but going to the back end of your games, how confident are you in the team? Yeah, it's crazy that it's past halfway now, but we're really excited. We take it day by day and we're, you know, we're gonna use today as a growing moment and we like to say that we can get a win and then also learn from that. Um, so that's really exciting. And we're confident, we're having fun, we're playing well and we're just learning every day. And it seems like you have a lot of underclassmen help and support on the field. How important is that to have? Super important, and they're doing a really good job. I think as like, coming new into this team, um, they're a big part of the team, and they, they understand the culture and the energy, and they do a good job. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much, and thank good you. luck with the rest thank of your thank season. You. For Lafayette Sports Network, I'm Colleen McNamara. Be sure to tune in to the Leopards as they face BU next Saturday.